Today in the crypto space, we see a mix of green and red throughout the market. Bitcoin still kind of going sideways at about 42,600. And Ethereum coming down just a little bit, but still hovering around that $2,500 mark. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins are very hesitant, waiting for Bitcoin and Ethereum to make up a decision. Is Ethereum going to show us an altcoin season or is Bitcoin going to bring down the market? In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk about one project that is looking pretty good then of course that project is called pith so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material all right guys let's begin let's see what is going on here with the general market we see bitcoin kind of going sideways yes it's down approximately one percent ethereum down approximately you know two percent give or take they're down um a little bit both of them are coming down just a bit now uh, the question is is uh, a continuation to the downside possible here I i'm not too sure at the end of the day we are still ethereum and bitcoin are still within range are still holding out there's no negativity here re reality it's just a short-term retracement short-term relief to the downside that's all we're really getting you can see that both bitcoin in fact bitcoin could be making a slightly lower low at the current moment of course, we'll take a look at the Bitcoin price very shortly, but Ethereum, you can see it's still very healthy within structure. In fact, it made a higher high in the local price action and a confirmation low might be due, maybe a bit of a bounce here for another attempt of a breakout to the upside. So we're going to keep an eye on Ethereum, of course, because the whole narrative right now is are we getting into an altcoin season? And one of the indications are, number one, Ethereum looking strong against Bitcoin. Bitcoin going sideways. Exactly what is happening right now. And number two, to see the Bitcoin dominance fall, showing that Ethereum's at the end of the day going to take the lead and get into the driver's seat. And so are the rest of the altcoins. And so far, we're getting some indication that that is very possible. But if you scroll through the market, you can see that the market in general is pretty hesitant. A lot of sideways. Why? Because there's no confirmations ethereum is not giving us what we need to actually get super super bullish here so until then we got to be very patient if you're going to get into any trades make sure that the risk to reward ratio is super super healthy by having a stop loss uh, clearly uh, in validation of the bullish thesis if you're going long so you got to be very very careful here because again bitcoin and ethereum could come down and we could get um you know a big big red market in the next couple of days and i'm very hesitant for that reason however guys i am also aligning myself correctly for an altcoin season i've been scaling into altcoins really really early here on the channel we've been focusing on altcoins large caps mid caps micro caps all the caps just basically looking for opportunities and obviously making sure that we're buying low bottoms bottom bottom prices that way if it does decide to come down stop losses can be placed and that you can mitigate all your risk and all your lot keep your losses nice and small let's continue going down you can see that there are a few few projects right now chain link looking a bit strong again part of that ethereum narrative maybe it is the fact that we do see the ethereum narrative run toncoin coming down for a bit of a dip polygon coming down also part of the ethereum narrative as it is a layer two of ethereum and you can see it's down approximately four percent i'm wondering what optimism and arbitrage are, are looking like right now uniswap is looking okay Okay, at least it's going sideways at previous highs bit of a rejection perhaps maybe not maybe a consolidation for a continuation to the upside this is the, the 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 overall sentiment in the market i think there's a lot of hesitation here and curiosity whether if it's actually going to move if the altcoins led by ethereum and its ecosystem are actually going to move so that's what we're going to be looking at for the next little while ethereum grinding slowly to the downside we have newer protocol getting a nice little pop but nothing crazy here uh, we have okb getting some 
some nice run to the upside. Celestia rolling over, guys. Look at that hang time. It looks like it just wants to dip really hard. So let it fall. If it falls, we'll be ready to go to buy some uh, dips on fire sales. Filecoin grinding down. Sideways price, price action all throughout this. Arbitrum coming down. So a bit of that negativity in the Ethereum-based ecosystem. And you can see that even Ethereum in itself on that dip could be giving us a bit of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And that's why we're seeing Arbitrum. And I want to see what optimism is. I, I think it's below. We'll take a look in a second. We have Say looking pretty good. But you know what I have to say about Say. Uh, at the end of the day, I am not getting into green price action. I know it's up 9% today. I get it. It's all probability. And good on you if you got in on another entry. Good on you if you're in the green. Good on you if you're, you know, 100x leverage long on this. At the end of the day, it's just very risky to get in at this current level. So based on my strategy, buying low, selling high, I am not going to be buying at this current moment until I get a decent retracement and build some confidence that we've held some support. And then I'll get in at a better risk to reward ratio. Even if I miss out, who cares? At the end of the day, there are a lot of projects. For example, look at BitTensor. At the current moment, it's up 11%. And we talked about buying the dips a couple weeks ago, and we found a good level of support. And uh, honestly, 23% to the upside in the last seven days is a decent run, keeping up with say brilliant that's exactly what we need nice bounces to the upside a bit of relief to the upside and ultimately taking profit very soon might be um not a bad idea given that bit tensor tau is another real real gainer it gained a lot of momentum earlier on and right now it could be in a complex pattern that eventually shows us a distribution or some sort of rollover so be careful here with bit tensor you know how bullish i am but as it keeps on going every impulse to the upside it just increases the profit probability of getting a bigger corrective move and that's what i'm looking forward to because i know i bought very very low my entries are spectacular i wouldn't mind buying a bit more render doing pretty good but maybe get, getting a rejection at previous highs it is at nine percent to the upside today pretty pretty healthy but again, another project that has been pretty, pretty good and performing very well. I'm being very patient. If I get a good fire sale, I'll buy the dips. If not, I'm looking for new projects or other projects that have yet to run. New projects are good. At, at the end of the day, you got to understand, um, we're entering a bull run. If not, we're already already in a bull run. This is where new projects are going to come out. This is where more marketing dollars are going to get deployed. So I want to make sure that I have also have capital to deploy for these new projects that are ready to run in this new bull bull run right old tokens have already had their opportunity now new tokens are coming out fresh and hot with hype and marketing dollars ready to deploy so that's what i'm going to be looking at looking at in the next little while sui kind of rolling over here the hang time is there going sideways i don't know i'm not really interested as well 62 percent to the upside in the last little while no thank you dydx happens to ru be running in the next uh, in the last little while nice grind to the upside 21 percent and you can see that although the market is sideways we do have a few projects that are looking okay so i would say it's a very mixed bag right now you know red to the downside a few blurs coming down after a nice run to the upside what else do you expect and you have some others that are be dipping down chilies down five percent after a huge move and uh, obviously we have some that are already running and continue to run guys the market is mixed this is where we're at right now i think we might be in a transitionary phase from bitcoin dominance to ethereum dominance or altcoin dominance and there could be a bit of whipsaw price action in the middle to get a few people wrecked during this transition guys be careful out there because this is where people end up giving back their capital to the markets all right guys let's talk about charts i know you're here to talk about charts let's begin the analysis talking about bitcoin bitcoin at the end of the day is still grinding to the upside very very slowly however this scenario right now doesn't give me a much confidence to actually get into a trade for bitcoin bitcoin at the current moment is up 200 percent from its bottom it is going into this channel slightly upward sloping for sure but still within a nice nice consolidation we see a little bit of volume happening right here fine it could be a good argument for a bull run or a bullish move to the upside but i'm not willing to do that based on the risk to reward ratio at the current moment moment the macd looks a little bit iffy the rsi looks a little wonky i'd rather get into something that has yet to move let's talk about this in a little bit more detail here at the end of the day you guys can see based on the daily that the uh, class a bearish divergence is still intact in fact um in you know as we hang around here and we see bitcoin go sideways with very very low interest in in the market um you can see even the volume is not that great guys i know we've been accumulating here but it's been for so long what do you expect you're gonna get a bit of volume here 
But even at the current moment, at the ETF moment, you know, there wasn't that much volume on, on uh, you know, on, on Binance, for example, as a crypto community volume. And in this case, what else do we expect? You know, sideways price action, maybe distribution, maybe come up for another wick to the top and get people wrecked. You know, that's what I'm not really interested in getting involved in. But what I am interested in seeing is Bitcoin go sideways. One of the important things that we need here is Bitcoin to go sideways while Ethereum shows strength. Either it runs um, and altcoins run with it. That's what we really need ultimately is Ethereum showing strength against Bitcoin. Tonight, we'll take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. We'll take a look at uh, the Ethereum price. We'll take a look at Bitcoin and compare again. I want to do that every night so that we can stay one step ahead here because if we do get that altcoin season, it is going to melt faces. That's usually what happens, guys. Those altcoins run and then it's too late. And of course, today's video is about Pith and Pith already got its bounds. Again, a very smart play right now would be to be looking for interesting uh, narratives such as the oracle narrative and pith is definitely one of them it's a hot new project that's been around of course but ultimately it's been reaching a lot of interest in the last little while so i want to make sure that we stay one step ahead here and bitcoin is giving us the opportunity not only to um expect an altcoin season but to research and prepare for that altcoin season boring price action on bitcoin allows us to focus on other opportunities guys and make sure that you do um focus on other opportunities not opportunities that are already ran significantly significantly look for those bottom prices all right guys let's move on we'll talk about bitcoin more in tonight's live stream at 7 30 eastern feel free to join it is a great place and time to make any requests for any projects that you're interested in i'll definitely put your request in top priority all right guys let's jump right into the chart the pith chart what is going on here with this project guys you know my story i bought in uh, right into this wick um it ran right up i took half on the double that's my secret recipe it's not really a secret but you get my point i took half on the double uh, which if you do some quick maths that w what that really means is ultimately i took my initial investment off the table so right now all i have in here is house money which is great because it's a risk-free scenario and ultimately um you know we've been hesitating here i mean i've been ignoring it because i really at this point it's risk-free i'm patient obviously but we are getting some good signs here the daily ultimately is looking for uh, and maybe to get oversold uh, overbought again which is very very interesting because we could see some good volatility to the upside you know overbought conditions gives us the bullish moves to the upside that we all look for and we see the macd looking pretty good it is definitely pointing to the upside green histogram bars you know open emas right here an indication that the bullish um, trend is on its way, and especially if we get into the bullish control zone up in this level. I'm interested, right? So the daily's beginning to start to look pretty cool. Now, if you start zooming in a little bit more here, you're going to start seeing that, you know, we do have a potential inverse head and shoulder, and we do have a potential cup and handle. Now, from an inverse head and shoulder formation perspective, you got a couple shoulders here, a head, and maybe some other shoulders, and a very nice clear neckline right around this zone, which is at about 38 cents. Now, I'm going to get into more detail by going on the four hour. Obviously, there's not much data here, so it's very hard to get into those details. But generally speaking, you can see this. There's a nice rounded bottom, a bit of a consolidation here that could be that cup and handle that we need to... Um, um, address now before we get into the four hour you can see that there's tons of volume here tons of market participation right now it happened the majority of it happened right into here obviously got very very interesting here and don't forget that pith is basically an oracle that now promises speed right new blockchains promise speed new blockchains require oracles that you know data feeds and pith being a data feed with speed provides a great solution to their problem which is a fast oracle okay so this is where we're, we're going with we're going with the whole oracle narrative and as a data feed uh, pith could provide that solution okay so we're doing pretty good here now ultimately we got pith on many exchanges lots of volume lots of liquidity lots of you know eyes on pith which is good and all obviously we see the price action right now it did come down back test got got us a nice low got a nice bounce now what we're really looking for is either confirmation low or a breakout a breakout could happen definitely could happen now based on the daily obviously you can't see much all the price action is pretty consolidated all the noise is pretty much gone we wanted a little bit more noise here so we can get data now before i go into the four hour you can see there's a bit of a volume gap that currently is potentially acting as a bit of resistance we're at the point of control as well 35 cents this red line the majority of the volume was right into here not to say that there's not a lot of volume here because there is a lot in fact it's pretty much equal at this level but right now this is a big big cluster of supply and demand that could 
currently act as resistance. So this is what I'm saying. It's either you're going to be looking at this as a breakout or um, as a big picture waiting for a bit of a retracement for a confirmation low from a follow through. Let's get into the four hour for a second here and see what's going on. You can see that the, the, uh, the four hour got a nice divergence here. Now, it didn't look like a strong one because it's uh, you can see lower lows on the price action. And then as we marry this up, you can see a pretty much double bottom on the RSI, okay? And that would be a class C a bullish divergence, which technically is not really the strongest. However, uh, the MACD is showing a different story. The MACD was showing a bullish divergence, which would be a divergence based on the, the trend, uh, the strength of the trend, which is pretty good. And this is the, the divergence based on momentum. So both momentum and the um, trend divergence were definitely in correlation. They were in confluence, which was pretty good good now i know that it did look at this point that you were trying to catch a falling knife but if you got into the four hour this little back test is what was important this back test got the bounce and all of, all of a sudden we're making that next leg up and if you look at it this yellow line was super super important because of that this is where we got a bit of that confidence based on the bounce okay now ultimately now we're in a bit of an issue because we're at range highs in the sense that you look at all this price action we got lows one two three, four, five, multiple touches on this level, a couple of highs, one, two, three, four, five, and all of a sudden we are currently consolidating right in this area. So you can't negate the fact that where we are currently is a very, very important zone. And we'll kind of put a horizontal right around here just to um, identify the importance of this level. And I'm expecting a bit of resistance at this level. And this is what we might expect. Now, if that's the case, we could consolidate, continue consolidating right in here. And as I zoom in, I bet you some of you are already eyeballing what's going on here because the pattern is pretty perfect. We've got a bullish divergence. We've got some follow through and now we're getting into a consolidation guess what guys that's a cup and handle at its best beautiful cup and handle the retracement is not deep not yet we're doing pretty good let me show you the invalidation now if we make a retracement that is lower swing uh, from the swing low to the swing high lower than the 0.5 fibonacci which is within this volume gap which is important that means we invalidate this cup and handle Okay, that's very important to identify it. So what I'm trying to say here is if we come down to the bottom of the volume gap, not good. Okay, not good, guys. And that would be, unfortunately, another buy opportunity at the Golden Pocket 618, uh, sorry, Golden Pocket uh, retracement level at the uh, 0.65 or 0.68. Right around here would be great for a buy the dip opportunity to get that confirmation um, um, low, uh, which would be a higher low. So let's see what happens here. We have two really bullish scenarios happening. We've got the, bu uh, the bullish divergence with the follow through. Now we're waiting patiently for the back test. Now the question is, how deep is this back test going to be? If we consolidate, nicely right within this range like we are doing currently not retracing more than the 0.382 fibonacci statistically speaking that's considered a breather nothing to worry about we're going sideways and it's going to look like a bull flag and that's what really we we want to see because a bull flag at this level at this point is a continuation to the upside and it does definitely solve um, the or um, basically offer the handle to this cup which is what we need obviously for a nice breakout to the upside so again breakout it could be a breakout scenario it could be a buy the dip scenario depending on how we retrace here on the four hour we got to the overbought we got we're getting a bit of bearish divergence as we speak we can t totally invalidate it why because we didn't get super overbought let's zoom in here to see what's going on you can see that these two tops on the rsi yes it slightly got overbought no doubt look at that little little portion right there but what about if we go up a little bit higher it will totally invalidate the bearish divergence so we got to be on our toes about that because if this happened we're getting to we're going to get into extreme overbought conditions and then we're going to get that explosive move to the upside which by then will be too late already pith has moved seven percent today which is pretty healthy because it is not a small micro cap it is a larger cap altcoin but it's a very useful altcoin which will have a lot of utility and therefore maybe potentially some really good gains as it gets adopted throughout the space right so that's what we're really looking for so keep in mind we want to stay right in here for to keep the va the validity of the cup and handle the 0.5 fibonacci uh, if we break below it's still bullish as long as we start holding at the golden pocket we could come down to the 786 again for a back test all of these are very possible but what i'm going to do right now is just stress the importance of buying the dip right into a zone and the zone that i'm going to identify right now is this zone right here okay if we are lucky enough 
to get back into this area, I would be buying the dip. I would be DCAing all into this zone. 0.5 fib. Hopefully we get some support there and get that bounce. Golden pocket six one. Uh, golden pocket retracement. Beautiful bottom of the volume gap scenario with good confluence of price action and Fibonacci by the dip. To seven eight six is probably the last line in the sand because below that really you got previous lows and you got to commit. After that point, you got to get into that commitment phase. So generally speaking, what I really do like is this zone right here and a stop loss right under this uh, these previous highs is exactly how you mitigate the rest of the risk and because if we make a lower low guys we're coming down so what we're really hoping is a change of structure at the current moment and really we haven't gotten it because really there's no higher high or higher low at the current moment and that's what we're trying to build so we're trying to stay one step ahead here the momentum is giving us some good signals the macd that's going what's going on here nice ema cross but it's getting a bit hesitant bit fake out ish look at all this Look at what's happening here. This is not fun. This is let, let's make a decision already. Either we're going up or we're going down. And you can see that even the EMA, how they're crossing, is not giving them much confidence here. So I'm a bit on the fence, but ultimately I like the setup. So I'm willing to take risk here. Now, before we move on, before we finish up here, I just want to show you the weekly for a second. Again, what's going on here with this weekly? The reality is we're hanging out here and i know this is available on other exchanges and i know there's more data on other um charts but at the end of the day right now we have a lot of accumulation here that is anticipating a breakout out of this zone which is 53 cents this is why people are accumulating here because they want to see the breakout at 53 cents and a continuation to the upside so market participations are definitely here and they're definitely interested. Guys, if I've offered you any value in this video, do the channel a huge, huge favor and slap the like button. I'm going to be live tonight at 7.30 Eastern talking about crypto news and price action. If you have any projects you want me to cover, that is a great time and place to make those requests and I'll put them in top priority. Guys, join that Discord. The Discord is where it's at. Lots of good alpha, trade setup, fundamentals, and learning material. Take care, guys. Have a good one. And don't forget, buy the dip.